Interferon Gamma, Wikipedia Audio 1 EKU, 1 FG9, 1 FYH, 1 HIG, 3 BES NM000619 NM008337 Function NP000610 NP032363 Promotes NK cell activity, increases antigen presentation and lysosome activity of macrophages, activates inducible nitric oxide synthase, induces the production of IgG2A and IgG3 from activated plasma B cells, causes normal cells to increase expression of class I MHC molecules as well as class II MHC on antigen presenting cells to be specific through induction of antigen processing genes, including subunits of the immunoproteasome, as well as TAP and ERAPE in addition possibly to the direct upregulation of MHC heavy chains and B2 microglobulin itself, promotes adhesion and binding required for leukocyte migration, induces the expression of intrinsic defense factors for example, with respect to retroviruses, Relevant genes include TRIM5ALPHA, APOBEC, and TATHERIN, representing directly antiviral effects. Interferon gamma is a dimerized soluble cytokine that is the only member of the type II class of interferons. The existence of this interferon, which early in its history was known as immune interferon, was described by E. F. Wheelock as a product of human leukocytes stimulated with phytohemagglutinin, and by others as a product of antigen-stimulated lymphocytes or tuberculin-sensitized mouse peritoneal lymphocytes challenged with PPD. The resulting supernatants were shown to inhibit growth of vesicular stomatitis virus. Those reports also contain the basic observation underlying the now widely employed interferon gamma release assay used to test for tuberculosis. In humans, the IFN protein is encoded by the IFNG gene. IFN, or type 2 interferon, is a cytokine that is critical for innate and adaptive immunity against viral, some bacterial, and protozoal infections. IFN is an important activator of macrophages and inducer of class II major histocompatibility complex molecule expression. Aberrant IFN expression is associated with a number of auto-inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. The importance of IFN in the immune system stems in part from its ability to inhibit viral replication directly and most importantly from its immunostimulatory and immunomodulatory effects. IFN is produced predominantly by natural killer and natural killer T cells as part of the innate immune response, and by CD4TH1 and CD8 cytotoxic T lymphocyte effector T cells once antigen-specific immunity develops. IFN is also produced by non-cytotoxic innate lymphoid cells, a family of immune cells first discovered in the early 2010s. The IFN monomer consists of a core of six alpha helices and an extended unfolded sequence in the C-terminal region. This is shown in the structural models below. The alpha helices in the core of the structure are numbered 1 to 6. The biologically active dimer is formed by anti-parallel interlocking of the two monomers as shown below. In the cartoon model, one monomer is shown in red, the other in blue. Cellular responses to IFN are activated through its interaction with a heterodimeric receptor consisting of interferon gamma receptor 1 and interferon gamma receptor 2. If binding to the receptor activates the JAK-STAT pathway. If also binds to the glycosaminoglycan heparan sulfate at the cell surface. However, in contrast to many other heparan sulfate binding proteins, where binding promotes biological activity, 
the binding of IFN to HS inhibits its biological activity. The structural models shown in figures 1 to 3 for IFN are all shortened at their C termini by 17 amino acids. Full length IFN is 143 amino acids long, the models are 126 amino acids long. Affinity for heparan sulfate resides solely within the deleted sequence of 17 amino acids. Within this sequence of 17 amino acids lie two clusters of basic amino acids termed D1 and D2, respectively. Heparan sulfate interacts with both of these clusters. In the absence of heparan sulfate the presence of the D1 sequence increases the rate at which IFN receptor complexes form. Interactions between the D1 cluster of amino acids and the receptor may be the first step in complex formation. By binding to D1HS may compete with the receptor and prevent active receptor complexes from forming. The biological significance of heparan sulfate's interaction with IFN is unclear, however, binding of the D1 cluster to HS may protect it from proteolytic cleavage. Structure IFN is secreted by T helper cells, cytotoxic T cells, macrophages, mucosal epithelial cells and NK cells. IFN is the only type 2 interferon and it is serologically distinct from type I interferons, it is acid label, while the type I variants are acid stable. IFN has antiviral, immunoregulatory, and anti-tumor properties. It alters transcription in up to 30 genes producing a variety of physiological and cellular responses. Among the effects are IFN is the primary cytokine that defines Th1 cells, Th1 cells secrete IFN, which in turn causes more undifferentiated CD4 plus cells to differentiate into Th1 cells, representing a positive feedback loop while suppressing Th2 cell differentiation. NK cells and CD8 plus cytotoxic T cells also produce IFN. IFN suppresses osteoclast formation by rapidly degrading the rank adapter protein TRAF6 in the rank, rank signaling pathway, which otherwise stimulates the production of NF-kappa B. A granuloma is the body's way of dealing with a substance it cannot remove or sterilize. Infectious causes of granulomas include tuberculosis, leprosy, histoplasmosis, cryptococcosis, coccidioidomycosis, blastomycosis, and cat scratch disease. Examples of non-infectious granulomatous diseases are sarcoidosis, Crohn's disease, biriliosis, giant cell arteritis, granulomatosis with polyangiitis, eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangiitis, pulmonary rheumatoid nodules, and aspiration of food and other particulate material into the lung. The infectious pathophysiology of granulomas is discussed primarily here. The key association between IFN and granulomas is that IFN activates macrophages so that they become more powerful in killing intracellular organisms. Activation of macrophages by IFN from Th1 helper cells in mycobacterial infections allows the macrophages to overcome the inhibition of phagolysosome maturation caused by mycobacteria. The first steps in IFN-induced granuloma formation are activation of Th1 helper cells by macrophages releasing IL-1 and IL-12 in the presence of intracellular pathogens and presentation of antigens from those pathogens. Next the Th1 helper cells aggregate around the macrophages and release IFN, which activates the macrophages. Further activation of macrophages causes a cycle of further killing of intracellular bacteria, and further presentation of antigens to Th1 helper cells with further release of IFN. Finally, 
macrophages surround the Th1 helper cells and become fibroblast-like cells walling off the infection. Uterine natural killer cells secrete high levels of chemoattractants, such as IFN. IFN dilates and thins the walls of maternal spiral arteries to enhance blood flow to the implantation site. This remodeling aids in the development of the placenta as it invades the uterus in its quest for nutrients. If knockout mice fail to initiate normal pregnancy-induced modification of decidual arteries, these models display abnormally low amounts of cells or necrosis of decidua. Receptor Binding Biological Activity Recombinant human interferon gamma, as an expensive biopharmaceutical, has been expressed in different expression systems including prokaryotic, protozoan, fungal, plant, insect and mammalian cells. Human interferon gamma is commonly expressed in Escherichia coli, marketed as Actimmune registered trademark, however. The resulting product of the prokaryotic expression system is not glycosylated with a short half-life in the bloodstream after injection, the purification process from bacterial expression system is also very costly. Other expression systems like Pichia posteriores did not show satisfactory results in terms of yields. Activity in Granuloma Formation Activity during pregnancy Production Therapeutic use Potential use in immunotherapy Interferon Gamma 1B is approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to treat chronic granulomatous disease and osteopetrosis. It was not approved to treat idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. In 2002, the manufacturer Intermune issued a press release saying that Phase 3 data demonstrated survival benefit in IPF and reduced mortality by 70% in patients with mild to moderate disease. The U.S. Department of Justice charged that the release contained false and misleading statements. Intermune's chief executive, Scott Harkonnen, was accused of manipulating the trial data was convicted in 2009 of wire fraud, and was sentenced to fines and community service. Harkonnen appealed his conviction to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit, and lost. It is being studied at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia for the treatment of Friedreich's ataxia. Interactions Although not officially approved, Interferon gamma has also been shown to be effective in treating patients with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. It is manufactured by Intermune as Actimmune and costs around 300 US dollars per vial. Interferon gamma is not approved yet for the treatment in any cancer immunotherapy. However, Improved survival was observed when interferon gamma was administrated to patients with bladder carcinoma and melanoma cancers. The most promising result was achieved in patients with stage 2 and 3 of ovarian carcinoma. The in vitro study of IFN gamma in cancer cells is more extensive and results indicate anti proliferative activity of IFN gamma leading to the growth inhibition or cell death generally induced by apoptosis but sometimes by autophagy. In addition, it has been reported that mammalian glycosylation of recombinant human interferon gamma, expressed in HEK293, improves its therapeutic efficacy comparing to unglycosylated form expressed in E. coli. Interferon gamma has been shown to interact with interferon gamma receptor 1. Interferon gamma has been shown to be a crucial player in the immune response against some intracellular pathogens, including that of Chagas disease. It has also been identified as having a role in seborrheic dermatitis. There is evidence that interferon gamma expression is regulated by a pseudonauted element in its 5-UTR. 
There is also evidence that interferon gamma is regulated either directly or indirectly by the MICR ORNAS, MIR-29. Furthermore, there is evidence that interferon gamma expression is regulated via GAPT in T-cells. This interaction takes place in the 3-UTR, where binding of GAP prevents the translation of the mRNA sequence. This article incorporates text from the United States National Library of Medicine, which is in the public domain. Diseases Regulation